decided to finally get some new wheels. He done some research, decided you want single piece, thought about how many spokes you want, the color, and thought about a good offset for your fitment. But you're still curious about one thing. Which wheel type is best for you and your application? What the heck is cast, flow formed, or forged? Well, the good news is I have some information to help you choose. This is Marvin with Euro Tuning. We're owned and operated by enthusiasts for enthusiasts, and we're here to help inform you for your next set of wheels. Don't forget, you can visit eurotuning.com to get the best upgrades for your car, like some new wheels, tunes, exhausts, intakes, and even OEM replacement parts. When it comes to getting new wheels, research can be a little intimidating. You have to get the right size and fitment. You also want some quality, but you don't want to break the bank. What the heck is the difference with casts, flow formed, and forged anyways? That is what we will hopefully clear up today and help you understand wheels just a little bit better. Let's start with exactly what are alloy wheels. Alloy wheels nowadays are typically made from a mix of aluminum and nickel blend. This generally produces a metal that is stronger than pure metals, not to mention they are lighter, generally look a lot better, and withstand heat more than the typical steelies we've all seen before. Early alloy wheels were made mostly from magnesium until about the mid-60s. With the advancements of aluminum casting refinements, manufacturers saw they were able to make safer wheels that were not nearly as brittle. Once aluminum casting improvements became more widely adopted, aluminum quickly took place of magnesium regarding low-cost, high-performance wheels for motorsports. So, when it comes to actually making wheels, there are three popular manufacturing processes. That's cast, flow formed, and forged. Cast wheels are the most common manufacturing type. Molten aluminum is poured into a mold to be shaped, cooled, machined, drilled, and then trimmed. This is probably the easiest and least expensive way to make a wheel. The trade-off, however, more porosity, meaning there's gonna be little holes and stuff inside of it, or inconsistency in the structure, which can lead to less structural integrity and possibly cracking. The process requires the use of more material, which in turn equals more weight. Cast wheels are designed for lower load rating and can break if pushed too far past those limits. The advantage of this process, however, is that it's fast and inexpensive to make. The disadvantages, the possibility of cracks or bends from street driving and heavier wheel weights. Keep in mind, Cast wheels are still a quality choice. There's a reason why the vast majority of OEM wheels are cast wheels. The next process is flow formed wheels. It is considered to be an upgrade to the cast process and can go by many names. It is also known as flow forged or forged hybrid amongst other things. The thing is, these aren't actually forged. The process is similar to start. The wheel face is cast and is more narrow than a typical cast wheel. There may be some variations in overall processes, but the barrel is heated and spun while stretching and compressing the inner barrel to the desired size. The process of heat and pressure helps to create strength while using less material, which is lighter, but at the same time, much stronger. This process greatly improves the strength, which is similar to the forging process. Being a lighter and stronger wheel makes flow form wheels great for on the track, where every tenth matters. Having less rotating mass will equal faster acceleration and better braking. They're an excellent middle ground between cheaper cast and expensive forged wheels. Weekend racers really love flow form wheels for this very reason. Finally, we have the forged wheel process. This creates the strongest, lightest, and you guessed it, the most expensive wheel. Every forged wheel starts off as a solid chunk of metal known as billet metal. Unlike cast or flow form, which technically starts with a cast wheel. The billet metal is then superheated to extreme temperatures and pressure is applied to forge its shape into a disc. Finishing touches are added as a disc is spun and flow formed into what is known as a spun blank. Once this is completed, it is heat treated to condition it. Then it is turned into the customer's final requested configuration. This process causes the wheels to be extremely strong due to refining the metal grain. An advantage to this technique these potential failure points that affect typical cast wheels like porosity or cavities and more are eliminated. A forged wheel will instead bend rather than break due to the construction method. It resists cracks and oftentimes able to be repaired more easily. There are also more design options available due to the sheer strength of the construction method. They can be fully customized to your order. The forged process translates to increased longevity 
increased resistance against wear and tear, and increased performance and handling. These are generally the go-to for the track due to being able to be repaired if necessary, their strength, weight, and higher load rating. The greater vehicle performance and enhanced fuel efficiency can't be ignored. So there you have it. The simple answer, cast wheels are generally more budget friendly and a bit heavier for our solid choice. Flowform is the upgrade next level to cast wheels being stronger and lighter with tons of great designs and great for the street and track. And finally, forged wheels, the cream of the crop, being the strongest, lightest, highly versatile due to its construction process. All great choices depending on what you're wanting to do and your budget. I hope that helps in your decision for your new set of wheels, whether for just a street or to include the track, cast, flow formed, or forged. There are tons and tons of fantastic options for whichever direction you decide to go with your personal build or the application. Go ahead and let us know down below what type of wheels you decided to get for your car. And remember to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified whenever we come out with more content. Take it easy.